Brookfield Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, December 29th. I ask everyone to please rise and pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Stephanie, by entertaining a motion to approve the police station building committee minutes from December 16, 2015. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Any one all in favor? Aye. 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 Our announcements Mr. Wallman, District Aide to Senator Ann Bobie, will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 12 30 to 1 30 p.m. Wednesday, January 27th. Uh, welcome. Also, another announcement. Uh, that there will be a formal opening and public tour to be held on Saturday, January 23rd at 10 a.m. Uh, for the actual new police station. Any other announcements? No. Hearing none, anybody wish to address the board this evening? Okay. I would like to, but uh, when it comes to correspondence, uh, that was okay. the purpose why I was here. Okay. Is the uh, Tantastic Union 61 artificial turf project. All right. I don't know if I want to do that now or. I'd rather take it later if you That's don't mind. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hearing nobody wanting to address, uh, item number one, Ms. is it Ms. Enos? Ennis. Ennis, I'm sorry. If you want to come and join us, you're first on the agenda with a request for a sign. Uh, we did receive an email. Unfortunately, you couldn't attend our last meeting, but welcome. And you have the floor now. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm representing the Brookfield Unitarian Universalist Church. And um, recently, we um, got some information from, I guess, the, the main body of governors or whatever, <laughs> um, that we could put signs up in towns, like say, hey, we're here. We'll, you know, um, I know when I travel in different towns, if I'm looking for a UU church, sometimes you can't get on the internet. You kind of see a sign, you kind of know you, you're nearby. And that's basically what we'd like to do. These are, it's so you can have a look at what we're proposing. I looked in town, I think there's a, I, I believe the Congregational Church has one, it you know, you rotaries. It is? It is? Okay. The yeah, okay. So, so something, it's something same, similar same, to that. Same um, It's just, a, so we, we figured the first step is to figure out if we're allowed to do it, and then we'll figure out what we want to do and put on it. Um, we're looking at possibly affording two at this point, one on, I think on nine, is that nine over there? This is that. Yeah. Yes. One on one and one on one on 148. So we're just wondering what are the restrictions? What, are, what do we have to, you know, abide by? That kind of stuff. I'm going to share a sign on 148. What's that? Uh, share, share a poll. I, I suggested that to the group. They said, well, someone said, well, they may not want to have the same. I said, come on. We're all so church going if, people here. <laughs> Use the same poll. Mr. Snyder, if you're familiar, do, do we? Did you have anything to do with placing that sign? No, that's years. That's well before I was here. Is there any, I don't, I'm ignorant to the I, procedures. I, St. Mary's, I know we don't have a sign. Is there any way that you can look into that, see what the yeah. procedure was and how it got placed? Okay. And we'll put it on okay. our next agenda. Okay. If you want to come back or we can just email you and communicate. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. 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 Any other questions? No, that's it. Right, you can I'm keep actually, that so you yeah, know what we're looking at. Folder camera for you. Yep. Okay, yeah, I'm going to ask the to the original. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Item number two, tax title update. Mr. Holcraft had requested that we reach out to the treasurer. I actually had a conversation with her last night. I had a conversation with her last week. Yes, she mentioned that as well. Yep. And we failed to uh, have any real formal discussion. Mm -hmm. We violated the local meeting law at the uh, Christmas party, which was extremely nice. Uh, but she did. Um... No, I had talked with her. Maybe it wasn't last week. It was. She said it was about a week ago that you talked. To yeah, her. I talked to her in her office. Yeah. Yeah. I um, we discussed the three three packages that we um, thought we had a decision on mm -hmm. moving forward with at the last department head meeting where you weren't here, Linda. Yeah. Um, talk with Sandy in regards to this. No. There's um, the low value properties. Oh, right. As far as the yeah. uh, which, four pockets, yeah. which she can go out to uh, DOR and just have them transfer those over to us for possession. Mm -hmm. We can do what we want, perfectly yep. auction. Uh, the only one that would purchase that are butters, but we can still gain possession and then put them out to auction. Um, the second pile would be the, uh, the good houses, the cream of the crop, and then other properties. So the three parcels. 
Um, she's, I had asked her to reach out to KMP to find a price. I don't see a price in here. But she says well, foreclosure between three to $4,000 per parcel. So that's, that's an estimate, not a total price. She does have money in her budget just a little bit, but I've been told that the assessors, either through overlay or another account, would be able to help with that with the foreclosures. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, recommend that uh, we make a motion to allow Miss Katie to approach these three parcels, or these three packets, mm -hmm. as uh, presented in this, in this discussion. I, I'll, I'll okay. make a motion to that. All right, I'll second it. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Those are all in favor? Aye. 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 Karen, can you reach out to Sandy and let her know to proceed with that immediately? Mm -hmm. And my discussion with her last night was to start immediately. Uh, it's been years. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the more work that she does with it, the more that she finds yeah. that was done incorrectly yeah. years That's what ago. she told me to. It's just talk. It's always like two steps forward, one step back. Mm -hmm. But I, I, just, just be done with it. I think yeah. we came in the last meeting to just foreclose on everything, yeah. but she had presented something that would be cheaper for the mm -hmm. town. But let's just be done with it and get it done. I feel the same way, just get them done. Did I take a vote all favor? Yes, yes. I did. Yeah. Uh, item number three, sign common victuals license. I don't know what carries it on. Okay, so I'll entertain a motion to approve the common victuals license for the Dollar General School. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Any men all in favor? Aye. 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 We missed some last time. Is there only one signature? I think there's only one on the DJ, I've got to finish that thing. Yeah, of course. I entertain a motion to approve the common victuals license for Tip Top Country School. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing no all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to, using different words for all of these, grant the common victuals license for the Central Package Store. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to grant the victor's license for the original plan box. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to grant common victor's license to the Bay Path Spiriting Company. Doing Aye. business as Bay Path Spirits. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve a common victuals license, entertainment license, and jukebox to the Brookfield Rod and Gun. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Are you all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve a common victuals license for Cumberland Farms. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Are you all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve a common victuals license for the Brookfield Congregational Church. Hmm. I didn't make that motion. I will oh, make no. that motion. No. And because of that, I would then have to abstain. Your name is not anywhere on there. I know. But well, since I'm the chairman of the church council, I, would, I <laughs> probably ought to. I will second. Um, only, well, this is a renewal. Why are you abstaining? Why are you abstaining? What, did, did, because it's a conflict of interest. Okay, I don't agree, but okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. One abstention. That, that's if the UCC comes after me. Something funny, though? Absolutely. The people are the dark. Oh. a motion to approve, well, to grant a used car dealer license class two to Richard A. Ross doing business as BNR Coachable. I'll make that motion. One second. Any discussion? No. Any in all favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
Item number five, CRPC funding. This is slide that the floor is yours. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Remind me. <laughs> Remind me. Uh, oh, yeah, master plan. Um, so there, there, there is uh, technical assistance money available through CMLPC. Mm -hmm. And there are several probably topics that would qualify for those funds. I, I had in this list uh, master plan. Cindy had another one uh, relative to water mains and, and mapping of water mains. And I think it, it behooves us to mm -hmm. one, take advantage yeah. of money. So uh, it would really be, I think, up to us. And maybe we should delay this until the department head meeting to talk whether it should be water mains, master plan, or some Is it limited to one or? No, well, because it would be one town. It, I would think going to that group, as I have gone to that group before for other reasons, mm -hmm. probably easy for a town to come in and say, we'd like to do this, and you'd get fifteen or $20,000, and I, I'd see that to be easy to do if we were to come in and say, hey, here's three. And how extensive is the application? It's not, it's a letter. It's not a matching. No, right. it's, no, it's not a matching grant. No, it's not. It's hundred percent technical yeah. assistance. Well, it was just like you said, so, take what, advantage of it. So, like I say, I read it. I, I read it. I thought, sorry, from two now. When does it have to be in by Thursday the fourteenth? Okay. So it's it's like if we yeah. were to do the department because Bruce isn't here and the idea of the water mains, I think is a great idea. Yeah. So uh, you know, I would defer to the water main mm -hmm. project, but. So I think we have a committee for the master plan. We still have money there for years. Yeah, so I, I think that the, the highway, uh, the water thing would, would probably be higher on the yeah. list as far as priority for me. We'll have that discussion yeah. with the yeah. yeah. yep. Item number six, we have another interested party for the Zoning Board of Appeals. I will entertain a motion to appoint Ms. Forcia White to the Zoning Board of Appeals until the end of, uh, until uh, the end of is it July or yeah, June? Who's, who's ever, yeah, who's ever term she's taking up. Then we have to reappoint. Well, it's every year, isn't it? Again? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Staggered. Yeah, yeah, they're staggered. Yeah, they're staggered. At, at, this, at this point, I don't know who. You don't know whose position it is. Well, it's until the end of the year. It'd be Mr. Thomas, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, it could be next. Okay. Yeah, but then you just reappointed Nick to be able to be on mm -hmm. that board no, more special. No, nope, he's not oh, going to go on. He's not going to go on. Okay, yeah. so then. That's this individual. I think it's only a five member board and there'll be five of us. Okay, so, so. So, we want to go to the bus room. Good day to take the bus for them. Uh, <laughs> So the Board of Appeals. Nick was 2019. Ken is Cleveland is 2019. Charlie Wilson is 2020. David Holmes is 2020. And William Miller is 2020. Get him still on? They, I, we replaced David with my son. Okay. I'll say so. It's probably next spot then. So that would be 2019. Yeah. 20. So I want to make that motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Any all in favor? All right. All right. Special use permit. Another fishing. These are all kitchen release. Entertain a motion to allow the Mass Bass Federation Extreme Bass Fishing Club to use the water on um, the uh, June 11th. Number of vehicles 10 from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'll make that motion. Check. Check. Any discussion? No. You're not in favor? Aye. Um, uh, this needs to be addressed, I, in my opinion, and I saw some correspondence with you, Clarence, I think. I don't know. In regards oh, okay. to uh, the sign that was removed? No, I didn't. It was something else. No, that was something else. This is, I Are saw that. Are you familiar with this, No. I guess the sign was removed on Limerick Ave. Oh, yeah, I saw an email earlier today. I saw that today. And I, I recommend to Karen to refer to the highway department to decide. Well, the, the issue is, is that they have been in contact with Mr. Chafee. He said it would go back up when he could get to it. It hasn't gone back up. Um, we're talking about an almost a 90-year-old individual. Yeah. Um, 
and I guess their their children is it their children? But they don't live down there. Limerick, the, the, the Bacon's the Bacon's live out on. They live down on Main Street, and I think what it is, they say that I read the email. It said that they use that access for like to get down to their back field. To, to hang. Yeah. They do hang. So today would not be a hang no, day. It so, wouldn't be a hang day. But well, the the issue was is that they're leaving in January, and they want to rectify yeah. the situation before they leave. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. So are you, you want to follow that? And All right, I can follow up on it. Do you want me to get in touch with... Uh, if you can get in touch with her? With and her. Then, yeah, and then, then reach out to this individual. Sure, and let them know sure, sure. Right. I will, I'll, I'll yeah, I it. just... What his schedule is, that's all. Should take more than a minute to put a sign back on. Well, I'm wondering if the <coughs> sign that sign that well, he was took down an old and was putting up a new... I don't know. And, and then, then she then she had something else in there, too, about how a couch landed on her parents' property, too. Yeah, tell so me about that, We've been, we've been taking know, couches been, off Game Road here for three weeks. I mean, it's crazy. It's, I've mattresses on Weber Road. Yeah, I've Top, two, tires. Two of them tire, myself. Tires off Lake Road. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. We have not a dump. Nope. And I also need um, her phone number. Well, you have the email. Yeah, yeah I have it. That's okay. all this is, is a copy okay. of the email. All right, I will get, I'll call her, and then I will get back to her. Under other as well, uh, Karen has noticed our meeting dates, and I did, this is what I saw for Clarence. Um, Clarence, we don't traditionally do first and third. We just traditionally do every other. Every yeah, other. but we, we got into a mode here, so that, that was where that I was going. Mm -hmm. um, we have another meeting on the 8th for the department head meeting. Yeah. I'm going to recommend that we cancel the 5th. Okay. Well. So it's the 8th. I've got to get a new calendar. Uh, so just just so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves, because is January the only month that we have scheduled out? Right, you, you end at January 19th was the last month we did the schedule. Yeah, and, and I would prefer us keeping the 19th if we can, because of the other documents that I need to talk to you about. So we're going to meet on the 12th? Well, no. No? I, I, I'd almost recommend if we're meeting on the 8th, we don't have to meet again. I don't think we have to. We don't have to meet until the 19th. 19th. Yeah, that, that works for me. Are we good okay. Yeah, because I need you to sign some documents on the 19th. So, so you're not meeting on the cancel. So we're just going to cancel the fifth. In January. That's and that's the department head. Okay. Cancel the fifth and keep going. Yeah. Not going to make it twelve. It's going to be on the 19th. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I have the 12th of the book. I don't know what it is. This is my event. I thought I was getting the hang of this thing. Yes, I know. Are you going to have a new one? Yeah. Okay. What's that? Can we on the 19th? Yeah, so we'll set for the next three months. Okay. Um, any other business? Uh, yes. Right, well, do you want to do first models first? No, we'll do one or other. All right, so uh, trees. All right. So we have a, a list of about 48 trees that have to be touched. That's what Cindy talked about at the last. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and they asked that these be marked. And I think that that's an appropriate course of action that they do, in fact, be marked. That, that Herb to just go up with this list is we are at risk that we're going to take down the wrong tree. And so I didn't know if you saw that list. I didn't see the list. The last correspondence I had with Cindy was that the tree warden gave them permission to use the budget. Yep. Um, I'm kind of concerned that, that the highway department has the list. Which was never forwarded to the tree warden. And now they want no, to. Well, no, no. The tree warden did well. Okay, this this is the combination of three lists. There was a tree warden list, a herb list, and an old list. And Cindy has now combined them all to now 48 trees. The only list that I was aware of were the two mm -hmm. plus the national grid list that the national grid was going to take down. Okay. So mm -hmm. I didn't want any. Oh yeah, yeah cross, we agree. cross cutting because if National Grid is going to take it down, why should the town incur the yeah. expense? What we have now is one list that so I just has yeah. that been forwarded to the tree ward? I believe so. Well, it, again, a portion of it came from him, so yes. Well, it could come back, but it didn't go back to him. Um, might not have gone back to him. Can I keep this list and call him? Absolutely. Can, and you what send us, can you send us an email? Is it on a spreadsheet or something? Yeah, yeah. Cindy, Cindy gave it to us earlier. Can you send? I haven't. I haven't gotten that. No problem. No. Can you so email me I will this? definitely email because we have two issues with it. One, I think it's appropriate that they be marked because of the risk of taking down the wrong tree. Yeah. The, the, sec the second issue is the public hearing was supposed to be held, but it has yet to be held as I understand it, with respect to uh, scenic way. 
And then the third issue is if we're now talking 48 trees, if we were to do it one way, it's going to cost one ton of money. Mm -hmm. And so the, the best that we can do to have the highway working with this list over well, time. From, from day one, even before you came on and we appointed the new tree warden, that was the desire was to work hand in hand. Yes, we so. need to push that, mm -hmm. continue to push But that. unfortunately, the summer, they, they kind of had their hands oh. tied. Oh. Oh. And that's well respected. Right. Any other other? Yes. Oh, so uh, let's talk uh, grant writing to mass historical. We have the formal information that we have. We're, we passed the first screen of the pre application. So we're in line for getting the 17,000 as long as we fill out our application okay. properly and uh, do, do the due diligence. What we need is this document to go back to mass historical on the 9th of February with all the documents sealed, signed. There are three documents in there as far as uh, accounting practices, disbarment, and there's one other document that you as the chairman of the Board of Selectmen need to sign. So my plan is to meet with the uh, Historical Commission, hopefully next week Carol's working to set that up, so we understand what we're going to put in the formal final document, and then what we then would then do is on the 19th turn to you and say, here's the package we think we're going to submit, at least in draft form, so that you are in well, a position. Once, once it's said, ask Karen to put on the agenda. Yeah, for the 19th. But anyway, we do have so that. So that's the document we're yeah. talking about for the 19th. Good news. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Nope. I'm good. Right. Correspondence, Mr. Gilmeister. Welcome. Hi. Is, what, is this what the phone call is about? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so that's exactly what the phone call, call is about. Back. What's that? You won't have to call you back after Christmas. Uh, you won't have to call me back now. Now we're all set. Um, I want to give you a, um, a map just so you can see what what this is actually uh, what we're actually talking about here. Um, you've seen the letter. Uh, I presumably you've seen it. Maybe you haven't. Um, on the at the last school committee meeting on the 15th, the uh, the school committee decided to. Um, uh, wants to acquire some debt to the amount of uh, 2.1 million dollars uh, to put in uh, two turf fields. Uh, the fields are um, uh, field number three on the, on the picture that I gave you, which is basically the football field, uh, and field number one, which is the, the field, the soccer field, the cage that's out on the back end of the back end of the property on the exit road going out to uh, they call uh, it the cage. What's that? They call it the cage. Don't the they? cage, yeah. That's, that's, what they, a, that's they, a soccer field. Though? That's a soccer field. They they also use it for uh, for lacrosse, uh, for girls lacrosse, as well as um, uh, I think they use it for field hockey oh. as well. Um, the uh, I guess the important point, and you know, we can get into the nitty gritty of why those fields and all these sort of things, but uh, the real thing that I wanted to stress is that. Um, the school committee is taking this action because we can fund all of the debt through school choice funds. We won't have to, the towns won't have to, to take, take any assessment whatsoever coming out of the school district to pay for these fields. We consider it more of a capital improvement and capital cost, which is what we generally use school choice for, uh, and so that's what we're that's what we're doing. So, um, and the reasons are kind of are multi are, are multifaceted, but uh, the track around the football field does need to be replaced fairly soon. It's on our capital improvement plan. Uh, the the press box, uh, which is on the football field, also is not ADA compliant, so only school officials can actually go up in the press box. The press can't go in the press box. Uh, and as a part of this package, we're going to put in uh, ramps and, and, and lift systems to make it ADA compliant. So those are some of the, some of the benefits of, of, uh, of doing field number three and, and some of the reasons why we want to package all of this into one big thing. Um, the other thing is, is that you know these fields just get a tremendous amount of use. I mean, anybody that's involved with youth soccer or any of the youth athletic programs knows full well that these fields are 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 incredibly used, um, and they are in really bad shape. Uh, number four is where they play uh, lacrosse, men's lacrosse, and it's we we just call it the dust bowl. 
Um, you know, I've got boys that have gone through the lacrosse program, and it's just an amazing thing on a dry uh, spring day. The dust, you can't even see the players when the dust that, is going. That has an underground sprinkler system there, too, doesn't it? Uh, I think it does, and in fact, we, we actually renovated that field a, a handful of years ago. And we now already find it in a situation where it's dilapidated and we've got to do something. And you, you assisted across the street with the junior high too, didn't you? That's right, that's right. Um, and so by doing this, we will have two fields that will gain a lot of use and won't deteriorate. I mean, there's going to be some deterioration over time and maintenance and things like that, but uh, nowhere near what we're going to have to incur to keep all these fields going. What's the life expectancy? Um, to be honest with you, I can't remember. I think it's 15 or 20 years, maybe less than that. Um, you know, the, the school administration is more than happy to come in uh, and discuss the project in, in more detail uh, with you. Uh, the important part of the communication uh, that you need to be aware of is that uh, the letter that I actually sent as the secretary uh, is that uh, you know we can acquire the debt, but uh, all five towns have to either by default uh, not oppose it or approve it. Um, so your choice set right now as the board of selectmen is to um, do nothing which is what I'm here to ask you to actually do, or to call a, uh, call a, uh, a town meeting uh, and ask voters to um, either disprove or approve uh, the, the reason uh, taking on the debt. I mean, that's the what's, big... What's that's, the debt to Brookfield? The, the debt to Brookfield is nothing. The, 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 again, school choice is paying for all of the debt. That's the real, that's the thing that I really want to stress yeah. to you folks. And so the reason why I'm asking you to just uh, not have a town meeting is because it really doesn't involve uh, any town funds. Uh, you could make the argument that uh, school choice could be used to decrease the assessment to the towns. Uh, but I'd like to point out to the selectmen as well as anybody else that's listening that you know, we take in about $900,000 in school choice funds every year. Mm -hmm. Last year, we spent $910,000 out of school choice funds for capital improvements and capital maintenance, those types of projects within the school. Because it's, you know, those are two big facilities, and we've got the tech program that's in there, and then we've got to keep all the machinery and all the other, all the other technology in there. Uh, up to date. So we use our school choice funds for these exact purposes uh, for capital improvement programs as well as capital maintenance. I know Mr. Durgan was a fan of the turf and it got shot down many times. Has, is this on the capital, the five, do you have a capital five year plan or? Um, this is, well, let me, let me step back to uh, previous activities with regard to turf. The only other time that we actually looked at it was in 2008, aside from the original uh, building project back in, uh, you know, 98, 99, 2000, whatever. Um, 2008 was the only year after the new facility was constructed uh, that an attempt to put in turf was made. Um, and Brimfield um, uh, originally had a town meeting and, and shot it down, and one town goes, the rest of them go. And so that was the end of the story. There was no further action taken at that point. Uh, there was some activities by uh, Gary Galanik and the Stoolbridge, uh, Sturbridge School Committee member to try and find um, donations to put in a field, but he was just completely unsuccessful in doing that. He still believes that we can do that, but uh, no one really thinks that that's going to be possible. So is this part of the capital improvement plan? It is a part of the capital improvement plan. That's what we're actually proposing to do with carrying on the debt. Because Does anything go by the wayside because of this project? No. All capital improvement programs will continue as they are. There's a few things that will come off the boards, like mm -hmm. we already had uh, in our capital improvement plan uh, installing or up uh, bringing the, the press box to ADA compliance. That's no longer going to have to be taken into account by our capital improvement plan because this will take care of it. The, um, the track for the track and field uh, is going to have to be replaced. That's in the current um, uh, capital, capital maintenance plan and that will now come off of that plan because 
it'll be bottled up into this project right here. Um, so there's there's nothing. There are a couple of projects that we had going that we, we replaced the phone system and a few other things that we had done in the past that are now being paid off. And so now we find ourselves in a position where we can actually take on uh, some some other projects. And this is one of the projects that uh, the school committee has decided to take on. Um, so for this board, it's been in the works for years. Um, I served with Mr. Gilmeister on the school committee. It's been talked about. The fields have always been an issue. I'm, I'm concerned with four, number four fields. It's, it's really bad. And like Mr. Gilmeister said, it's been done. I think it's been done a couple times. I think there's sprinklers on there as well. Um, so we have one of two choices, not do anything and let it move forward, or do we want to call a town meeting? I say let it move forward. I mean, if they've got the school choice money and there's nothing coming, you know, there's no expense to the town for them to go ahead with it. I'm, I'm with the no expense to the town. I'm with yeah. the uh, the kids aren't going to lose yeah. anything. And it's all about the plan. you got to come down here and this is that Can I speak? I have just a question. Um, I haven't been privy to any of these meetings because I don't have children in the system, so I don't go to them. Has the school committee discussed the um, involvement of artificial turf either causing or uh, exacerbating the issues of injuries to student athletes? Um, actually, I was anticipating a different question than that particular one. Uh, I have not heard that one too. I have not heard that question. I really, we will be looking into those things. One of the common ones that has come up quite often uh, that I've heard is uh, is the the rubber filler that goes into the fields, and and there's some some rumors and whatever. There's no science behind it, but uh, there are some some folks that claim that it's actually cancer causing. Um, whether it is or it isn't, there's no scientific evidence that suggests it is, but even beyond that, um, if that is a concern, they've actually come up with all natural and green, like cork, um, uh, you know, and some other material, some other natural materials that they actually put into the thing. Now, in terms of uh, greater, greater, uh, greater injuries, I, I, that one just has not come up. Now, Mr. Lucas, president, I mean, uh, principal of the of the high school, of course, has been involved with the athletic program for quite a number of years, even before he was principal. Uh, very, very involved. Involved in, in in athletics, and he hasn't really mentioned the fact about about uh, any injuries. Now, I'll certainly bring that back to the. Because there've the, been national news stories on the subject just in the past few months. Well, it's not even the past; it's been decades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I, and it crossed my mind. I wasn't going to ask it. I played on artificial turf. The biggest thing is is the raspberries that you get when you slide across it face first. Well, there's an issue I, from what I understand with cleats yeah. catching well, you, it as well. You have to actually wear special cleats because yeah. you can't wear. Yeah. You know, even the track, you have to wear special cleats with that as well. Yeah, and that should be, a, I would think that would be an expense that would be factored into the turf um, cost if that were the case. Well, the kids supply their own cleats. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But, you know, one of the things about Tantasqua that has, you know, it's is, is basically, it's, it's a hallmark of the system, I think, and I think you can appreciate it. Um, we don't charge our, our students any fees to participate in our sports program, and we've started to generate a fairly significant sports program down there. The, you know, the soccer team, the girls' soccer team did very, very well this past season, as well as the, you know, the football team didn't do as well as we would have liked them to do. Uh, but they have the basketball team, the boys lacrosse, the girls lacrosse team. They're all very strong programs and moving forward. Um, and so we just feel that it's that um, one of the drawbacks, we have a great facility down there. One of the drawbacks uh, that we don't have is, is, is the fields. And I'll, you know, I'll be the first one. I, most of you probably know that I was never in favor of the palace going in there. And my biggest complaint about it was that it was too big. Um, and now I'm looking back on it and I'm thinking, boy, I'm glad I was wrong. Uh, because now we've got the school choice coming in that gives us an awful lot of funds to do a lot of different things as well as not just to keep our, the facility uh, up to date technology, technologically wise and, and otherwise, but it also allows us to give our students the best program that we have. And so uh, I'm basically here just asking to allow this to move forward with, with no further ado. Um, so. Mr. Snyder, we voiced our opinion. You? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd actually suggest that we we encourage yes. 
what's going on because it, it is, I mean, from, from a safety perspective, we certainly want to keep the due diligence necessary as far as the right materials. I would tell you it's, it's tire, shredded tires, and it's as much the metal and the shredded tires as anything else. And on the flip side, Quaybaugh rubber up here in North Brookfield has one heck of a lot of shredded rubber that they like to get rid of. Yeah. So any time <laughs> to encourage them to use that rubber would be really good because yeah. that's good stuff. Yeah. But no, I, I, I think I, I really have two thoughts. One, to encourage this activity. Mm -hmm. And whether we have a meeting or not, and however it's recommended, it's fine. But I think we should encourage the activity. The, the second, and this is a conversation that I've had with Brian Oxman relative to school choice, having sat on a school committee years ago at Ashburnham, Westminster. Uh, school choice is a, a big boon to the, this town and, and to the district. And, and we just have, we have to manage it. We have some towns that are really failing around us and that it's going to put pressure on us and we really need to manage it manage it well because we, we, we are where we are because of it. So I would just pass on good work and keep going. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. So thank you for your time this evening, yeah, uh, folks. Appreciate that. All right. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, the committee for us as well. Uh, the tax collector has sent an email out today in regards to a lagging computer. Um, I know Clarence responded to this one. Yep, I did. I think he's on the same boat that I am, is to reach out to Tantasqua. I had uh, requested Karen to reach out to Tantasqua, assess. I think it's just memory. It, 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 and again, I'm not smart enough to know, but I think we should take out, take let's out the board, throw some more memory, and I think we're good. I don't well, think we need a whole new computer. Well, then, then, and then let's have that conversation, yeah. making sure that we have the right, if, if we can reconstruct this hardware great if we can't let's go get the right tool yeah, yep. yeah because um, like she i had talked to the tax collector too and um, she said that like you know the ones that we were under the impression when we first got these would be new computers and they're not the refurbished computers mm -hmm. and you know she says this has slowed her down she says it's an embarrassment she says sometimes she says people come into the office and she's trying to get things done and you know she said she can't get it done today there, she there, had there shouldn't be a 10 minute lag time no. no. And then she said today she had to do a report for the um, Board of Assessors, and she says in a, a report that could have been done probably in five or ten minutes, she said it took 40 minutes to do it. So if it is determined that she needs a new computer, is there money in her budget? Um, Did, this is the first I heard of it today. I think it uh, She said here. that there yeah. was... Yeah. Well, again, what would happen to her account? No, not in her account. It's in the... She said she doesn't have the money, but it's in the computer. It's in the computer account. She said there was ten thousand dollars in there. That's a selectman's account, isn't it? Which we can manage throughout the building. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, so if she so needs. So there's, there's, there's money there. If, if it's memory, there. let's go by memory. But if it's if, if it has to be, it has to be. And she it. said, I guess Vadar is. She's you know she's got to keep camera on. She says for a few months yet, but then she's going to be turning over to the new Vadar software. And she said that Vadar said the same thing. It's going to crash the thing. Yeah. So. so she says more than likely she will need to it get into the computer. Did you ask me to you? No, I had to leave a message. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll follow that very closely. So if yep. she needs, a, you know, if the memory doesn't do it, if she needs a new one, you know, Let's she'll have sure to work. Works. Yeah, we'll, exactly. we'll have to get it for her. Yep. Um, item number three, unfortunately we received a uh, certified letter from Charter stating that fees are going up, effective on February 15, 2016. Pricing will be adjusted for the change of service Computerized fee from two ninety nine to four ninety nine. Do So now, can you use the? So is that for all? Um, I think it's just for a specific service, no? Just for the computer? I mean, for here or for? I think it's for residents, isn't it? Yeah, it's for residents, and I think it's if you change all. Likely every business charter faces rising costs to require occasional price adjustments as a result of customers in the community. So customers in the community will be notified of the following price adjustments through a billing statement message on or after December 15th of what I just read. Charter continues to provide significant product enhancements. This is just to a new horn of what they give. So. Okay. Surprise, surprise, they give us $50,000 50, for the new studio yeah. and then uh, decide to raise the price. More take it, more take it. MIIA uh, members, um, it is once again time to select the nominees for the Board of Directors of the Massachusetts IIA Association. The election of the Board of Members will take place at the annual meeting on January 23rd. 
Um, we have the ability to vote for these now. I don't have the list in front of me. This right here? I haven't looked at this. Do you want to take this up at the next meeting? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we place that on the next agenda. That, well, that also brings up that that session is on that Friday and Saturday. And yeah. The open house is on Saturday, I think. Really? Oh, I'd yeah. So definitely overlook that one. Mm -hmm. But no problem. But it would say that the only thing that we're, we could attend would be on the Friday afternoon. And that, what I'm thinking is we'll just scratch it. Okay. Attend the open house. I will put my mind around that. It's the first I heard of it. I didn't know the uh, conflict. Uh, invitation for the Worcester Regional Retirement System. Uh, Thursday, January 14th, Double Tree Boston, Westboro, 8.30 a.m. breakfast, 9 a.m. meeting, uh, guest speakers, and if you'd like to attend, just communicate with them. Any other issues before the board this evening? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I will second them. Oh, before I mention that, this is our last meeting of the year. Oh, yeah, that's, that's rubbing that in. So I would like another, to... Another gray hair. Thank another you. Yeah. So I would like to wish the residents of Brookfield a very happy new year. And we hope for more pro progressive things to come in the future year and for things to go well here it's, in the town. I don't know if it's the age and being able to appreciate more the older you get, but this has been one of the best years that I've been in this town. And, uh, it's, it's because of everything that everybody does out there. It's, it's a beautiful, I've said it before in the past months, and I'm very proud to be a resident of Brookfield. I know, I've lived here all my life, and I'm very, I'm very proud to be here, too. I love so this community. everybody out there, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Yes. I made that okay, I made Do we have a second? I have a second. Discussion? Aye. 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 A